Hello everyone. Um, as promised, I am now going to show you guys how to take your raw file that you've created um, using the Canon 7D and Magic Lantern uh, Alpha 2 and turn that raw file into a video sequence that you can actually edit um, in Premiere Pro. So this file, if you try to play it with anything really, you can't really play it. Um, you've got to convert it first and if you convert it from raw to DNG, then you have a bunch of DNG files and not an actual um, video sequence. So to get that uh, to actually be a video sequence that you can see and edit, you've got to use this program right here, which is Rawanizer version 6.0. Um, that's what I'm using. There might be a newer one out but, uh, by now. Uh, but this basically lets you select the raw file. You can see that it's 1600 by 600, um, almost 24 frames per second, and then the total frame count. And so we're going to take this one and make sure that we're generating a video with the raw processor selected right here. Um, make sure it's in 24 frames per second. And then we're going to take this and it's going to start, uh, it's basically going to create three different things. It's going to create one folder with the DNG files. It's going to create a TIFF folder. And then it's also going to create a proxy video file that we'll actually be able to play in Premiere Pro for editing. Um, so you can click start and then it'll go ahead and uh, process the, the uh, video file. Okay, and so now we've got that processed, and so we don't need this anymore. Um, basically, you can see here, created the proxy file, which is actually playable video. Um, so if we play that, oh look, it plays. And then got DNG sequence folder with all the DNG sequences. Each of these is basically a raw file, but it's just one frame, not the actual video sequence. So what we need to do is bring this proxy file down into Premiere Pro. And so we'll bring that into Premiere Pro. And what we have now is, because this video file actually can play, is we can edit this video in Premiere Pro. Uh, but we need the actual raw files that we want to edit and color correct because none of that's been done to this file. Um, so to do, to do that, we're going to take a copy of this. I'm holding down Alt and just clicking and dragging up. And so this will be the second level copy. We'll right click on that. You want to replace it with an After Effects composition. And you can see it's suddenly linked to an After Effects composition, which is good. And then After Effects, we can go into that. Um, and so now you see that you've got the proxy file over here and we want to go ahead and bring in the DNG file. So you're going to double click in there, in that window, and then just click on the first one and make sure you're doing footage, camera raw sequence, and then open. And so now we've got the first clip of our video sequence. Um, this is just one frame that we can edit however we want. We want, And you can play around with anything really, the shadows, highlights, um, contrast. You can do all that in here and get the look you want for your video that you're going to export later on um, in Premiere Pro. So we're going to change around all of the colors, anything you want to change. Um, and this is this was shot at sunset, so it was kind of an orangey color, um, so a little bit difficult to color correct. Uh, but we're not here to talk about that. So once you've got that adjusted the way you like it, you can go ahead and click OK, open it up. And so now you have this sequence right here, which is a raw sequence. And we want to bring this down into here and place it above the proxy sequence. And so now we have that into here and so that's going to be linked together. Uh, you can resize it. Um, the reason it's uh, it needs to that needs to be done is because the proxy file is bigger than the DNG file for some reason. I think it's because it's up to 20, 720 um, instead of 600. So and now we're basically finished in After Effects. We can go back over to Premiere Pro and take a look and this is now going to be the link composition with our raw adjusted color corrected file on top. Um, so all of that's in here. And so now that you've done that, anything you edit, once you if you just link these two layers together, um, then you can edit them together as one layer and you won't have to uh, worry about bringing in the footage or using footage that's not going to preview because you can just use the preview from the proxy video here as your preview for the edit and you don't have to worry about it rendering the uh, actual raw footage every single time. Um, so then once you have this, you can just turn off that lower video layer and then you can export. 
um, and then you'll have your exported video and just make sure your export settings are set as the right uh, size and everything because this isn't just a standard 1080 footage um, we're shooting wider than 1080 uh, 1600 by 600 um, you can scale it up to uh, 720 if you want um, but I've just used it 1600 by 600 in the past and it works fine um, so we've got that oops so we've got that done um, and then you can just export your file and then you're done and you have an actual playable sequence that is the proper raw color corrected resolution file it's as easy as that um, i'll post a link to the forums uh, with more information if you're interested in anything and you want to read up a little bit more there's tons of uh, help if you know where to look thanks for watching